Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Boston Cream Pie. Actually, I'm gonna show you how to make the pastry cream and the ganache, but I'm not making a cake from scratch, sorry. I mean, you can if you want, but uh, I just use a regular box yellow cake. It works great for this. Basically, the cake is an afterthought. It's just a pastry cream and ganache delivery system. So this starts with the pastry cream. Take three eggs, some sugar, and some cornstarch, and whisk that up until it's light, lemony, colored, fluffy. And if you pull the whisk out, you can see the ribbons of uh, egg kind of stay on the top for a half second. Set that aside. Now on the stove, I have my cream, milk, and butter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that up to a boil. I'm gonna turn the heat to low, and I'm gonna pour in my eggy mixture and cook that for one minute. And it's gonna thicken up really quick because of the cornstarch in the egg. And don't worry, you're not gonna scramble the eggs. It's only gonna cook a minute on very low. I know you're scared, but don't be scared. All right, see that? It's gonna look like that. All right, turn off the heat and strain it because you might get a couple tiny pieces of egg that overcooked against the bottom. All right, so that's strained. I'm gonna add my vanilla. All right, I'm gonna give that a nice pinch of salt. And this has to chill for a long time until completely chilled and thick. Many hours later, look what you got. A beautiful, thick, marvelous vanilla pastry cream. So cool. For the ganache, take some bittersweet chocolate, heat up some cream with a little bit of butter, pour it over the broken up chocolate, and then stir. Have we made ganache before? I think we made ganache before. In fact, I know we have because I remember commenting how much I love saying ganache. So stir the ganache. It's going to look like, you know, not good at the beginning and then it's gonna look okay, and then it's gonna look beautiful. See that, glistening, perfect. But don't do anything with it yet. It's gotta cool a little to thicken up. All right, so like I said, I made a box cake, which makes two, I don't know, what are those nine inch, two nine inch cakes. I'm gonna put one down on a plate, flat side up, so the rounded side's down. I'm gonna dump on my pastry cream. I'm gonna spread it out, but stop when you get to an inch from the edge. Because what's gonna happen here when we put the top layer on, it's gonna press it down a little bit. I'm going to put the top layer down, rounded side up this time, and this is my favorite part. You give it a little wiggle, a little jiggle, and a little wiggle, about half jiggle, half wiggle, and that cream will come right out to the edge. Look at that. Unbelievable. I think that's my favorite shot this year, but it's early in the year. All right, now we wait until the chocolate is that texture and consistency. We want to be able to pour it, but it can't run down the sides like super fast. We want it to just ever so slowly glaze the top. Let gravity work for you, all right? So keep drizzling, keep drizzling, stay mostly in the center, and it will slowly creep towards the edges. See, if you do this when the chocolate's too hot, you're looking at basically a pool of chocolate on a plate now. Then I take a spatula and I coax it around the edges. And every couple inches, I want it to kind of spill over and drip down so mesmerizing. I could watch that all day. I like to chill it completely before I cut it so the ganache cuts into nice decent looking pieces. Boston cream pie or at least my version. Give it a try. Pastry cream easy. Ganache easy. And a box cake mix. Come on. So easy. So anyway all the ingredients are on the site. Go check it out. And as always enjoy. Enjoy.